Hey, Chewies! <laughs> this is Bob Hicklin. I am so excited to be back with all of you. You guys have been rocking. So many of you came out to last night's video, which was Saturday Night Seance. And if you didn't see that, make sure to excuse me, check it out. It's the video right before this one in the queue. And I tell you, the spirit people are amazing. They always bring, I think, really profound stuff. And I get really as much out of that video as you guys do. Because, you know, when I'm channeling, I don't know what's coming through. But when I go back and see the tapes, I'm like, wow. So I get a lot out of it. So I hope you'll, you'll watch that, okay? Anyways, well, you know, Psychic Bob has had a crazy last two months. And we're behind on horoscopes. And uh, it's mid-March, and I'm just getting out March's horoscopes here. So, um, anyways, um, you know, bear with me. I'm going to try to get this out during the first of every month. So in April, we'll get back on track, okay? But, uh, you know, I just wanted to come here and, you know, uh, for those of you who are new, kind of tell you what we do here. Um, every month I put out a series of horoscopes. These are my own creation. I do not take them from other websites or other astrologers. I study the transits. I put these together so they're my unique creation. So uh, you won't get my horoscopes any, anywhere else. They're unique to Spirit Channel uh, and to me. So I'm so glad you're here. And uh, we're going to go around our big zodiac wheel. I don't have my zodiac wheel here. Well, I'll put a zodiac wheel up here for you to look at. So we're going to go around our big zodiac wheel and see what the stars have. Now, every single person's going to get a horoscope. And um, if you don't know your sign, listen, because after I say each zodiac sign, I'll give the birth date range. So when you hear the sign that has your birth date in that range, that's your sign, okay? Uh, but before we get into that, I want to give just a quick snapshot and overview of the remaining part of March here. Um, on Sunday, which is today, March 13th, uh, our moon has entered Gemini, uh, and that entered at 5.03 p.m. Eastern United States time. And uh, this is wonderful because Gemini is all about harmony. It's about communication. It's about building bridges and partnerships. So wonderful energy for our Sunday. Good time to reach out and establish connections with others. Um, on Sunday, March 20th, um, the sun enters Aries, and that's the official beginning of spring. That's going to be the vernal equinox or the spring equinox, um, and that's known as the Wiccan holiday of um, Ostara. So that's going to be on Sunday, March 20th. I always celebrate it on the 21st. That's just me. But technically, it is on t March 20th this year, okay? And then on Wednesday, March 23rd, we have our full moon. And we're going to have a full moon in Libra. And this is the storm moon. And there's also going to be a lunar eclipse that night. So isn't that very fascinating? A lot of energy there. You know, I always say whenever there's an eclipse, that means go within, focus on your own vision, listen to your higher self. So Eclipses are not ominous. They're signs of inner work, all right? Anyways, I'm so glad you're here. Well, we're going to go through all 12 zodiac signs. We're going to spin around our big wheel, and let's see what the, what the stars have for all of you. All right, our first sign on the wheel is Aries, and that's March 21st to April 19th. Uh, Aries, for the rest of this month, you want to focus on communication, try to make connections with people. This is a good time for you to kind of do kind of bridge building, reach across. If you have people in your life that you're having conflict with right now, now is the time to build that bridge, make the connection. You're going to find that in the work area, you also have success in this area. And so that teamwork is going to be highlighted and enhanced for the next two weeks for you. Um, this energy of bridge building is going to allow you to find peace with others and bring healing in personal relationships as well as work, and it's a good time. Also highlighted for you guys for Aries this month 
our creative energies, particularly created to the arts, connected to the arts. If you've been wanting to get into painting or writing or music, good time for that as well. Uh, your key word this month is build, build those bridges. All right, our next sign is Taurus, and that's April 20th to May 20th. You know, Taurus, you're feeling very creative right now. Your artist energy is really working for you. And also, similar to Aries, you want to think about teamwork and bridge building. Tauruses will find that their creativity is increased the more they connect with others. Uh, Taurus, you want to watch in the work area this month because there's going to be opportunities for you to step into that kind of co-creative process and you're going to get a lot of leadership recognition so this is a very good time for you to you know again like the Aries build bridges be connected to others also highlighted for Taurus this month are energies connected to home renovation so if you've been wanting to kind of spruce up your home maybe put down new carpet buy furniture do some painting all of that's highlighted this month for you so your key word this month, Taurus, is co-create. All right, our next sign is Gemini, and that's May 21st to June 20th. You know, Geminis, this month for you is all about uh, being in your spirit. It's about feeling the spirit, connecting the spirit. Uh, Geminis who are interested in psychic arts will find that channeling comes to them very easily. And this channeling, I feel, will take the form of a lot of writing for Geminis. It's a time to write books. It's a time to write letters. It's a time to create and to build on that energy that is moving through you. Geminis will find in the work area that face-to-face -face communication with their bosses is best. And they're going to find that, you know, um, try to be in person as much as you can. This is where your gifts of leadership and of inspiration come. Uh, your key word this month, Gemini, is inspire. All right, our next sign is Cancer, and that's June 21st to July 22nd. You know, Cancers, um, your spiritual self, like the Geminis, is also very heightened this month. Um, you may find, though, that the outer world is a little overwhelming, a little distracting. Cancers want to kind of go within themselves, listen to their inner voice, this is more a time of retreat. Uh, I would encourage Cancers to put off any big projects until we get into April. This is gonna be a little more, the last two weeks of March is gonna be quiet time for Cancers. Good time to go inside to, to you know, do some creative writing, work on your channeling, hear the voice of spirit. Uh, cancers will find that this next two weeks, if they follow this, they're gonna be really rejuvenated. And as they get into April, then everything starts moving. So Cancers, don't look for a lot of transition right now. Look to keep your focus on the inner self. April is where everything gets going, okay? Also highlighted for you guys this month are issues connected to banking. So if you've been wanting to kind of re-study investments or long-term financial goals, also highlighted for you this month. Your key word this month, Cancer, is meditate. All right, our next sign is Leo, and Leo is July 23rd to August 22nd. Uh, you know, Leos, this month really for you is about um, also, you share a very similar energy to the Aries and Taurus. It's about creativity. It's about expressing your inner voice. It's about letting your light shine. Leos will find in the work area that they're very much attention and focus this month. If you're a Leo, this is a time to really put forth your ideas. Let people hear your concepts. It will take you far. Leos are going to find this month that in the area of personal relationships, a lot of glamour, a lot of attraction. So if you're a Leo and you're thinking about, gee, I feel alone. I wish I had a partner. Go out on the town, be seen. You're going to draw them like flies to honey. Uh, so this is a good month for you, Leo. Um, the important thing is share your mind, help people hear your thoughts. They want to hear it. You're going to bless them and inspire them. Um, also highlighted for Leo this month are energies connected to wardrobe expansion. So if you're a Leo and you want to kind of put on some new clothes, go ahead and do it. Your key word this month, Leo, is express. Express yourself.
All right, our next sign is Virgo. And Virgo is August 23rd to September 22nd. You know, Virgos, this month for you also, you carry a lot of that artistic flair you're really feeling in your creative element. Virgos will find this month that if they break out of patterns, that they'll have more success. So Virgo, if you're in a job right now where you feel like the system is not working, go out on that limb, change some procedures, change some things around, and see how much more productive you become. Uh, this will set you well with the boss because they'll see greater creativity and they'll be inspired by your, your vision for making things better. Um, Virgos, you're gonna find in the area of relationships as well, that, excuse me, you also want to kind of step out of the mold. If you're a Virgo and wants to go on dates, don't just take them to a dinner or movies. Take them to something fun and creative. Break those patterns of regularity. This month, Virgo, it's going to be a good time for you. Um, also highlighted for Virgos this month are energies connected to gardening. So if you're a Virgo and you've been wanting to kind of get your thumb green and connect to the earth, also good energy for that. Your key word this month, Virgo, is create. All right, our next sign is Libra, and that's September 23rd to October 22nd. Uh, you know Libra's really for you right now. Um, you're in celebration mode. Libras are going to feel this shift of energy as the spring equinox comes in. It really lifts you up. It reinvigorates you. Libras will find the second half of March to really be times where they feel like celebrating life. Things get a little easier for you this month. Libras will find in the career area that it's kind of like if you want a promotion, put in for it and you get it approved. It's very rapid transitions here, particularly in work. So if you're a Libra looking for work, this also next two weeks, very powerful time for change in that area. Uh, Libras want to also focus on relationships because this is a time where conflict resolution is very strong. Libras will find their peacemaker skills is, are very good and they will settle conflicts and they'll be able to breathe easier. Um, <clears throat> also highlighted for Libra this month are energies connected to creative writing. So if you've been wanting to kind of put your hand to paper, go ahead and do it. Your key word this month, Libra, is dance. All right, our next sign is Scorpio, and that's October 23rd to November 22nd. Uh, you know, Scorpios, right now, everything around you is about growth, building, and expansion. This is a very good time for Scorpios who want to start a new business, or if you have a business, to expand it. You'll be finding that People are agreeable with you now, such as banks, as investors, business partners, very good energy for building businesses. For those of you Scorpios looking for work, also excellent time because that expansion energy is going to draw you to companies that are expanding and want you part of their team. <coughs> Scorpios want to also be aware that in the social area, they're expanding this month as well. So if you're a Scorpio and you've been feeling a little isolated, you're going to see that you get people drawing you into their social worlds and you're going to have a lot more activity. A lot of parties highlighted for Scorpios this month. So go out, be seen, be heard, have fun. Um, your key word this month, Scorpio, is expand. Expand in all areas of your life. All right. Our next sign is Sagittarius. And that's November 22nd to December 21st. You know, Sagittarius, right now you are very in touch with your inner psychic gifts. Uh, Sagittarius are going to find that people are being drawn to them this month. Uh, people want nurturing from you. People want to feel your inner spirit. You are reflecting light to people. Um, this is a very good month for Sagittarians who are healers, uh, whether you're a psychiatrist or a medical person or even an empath. Use that energy in you to bring healing to those around you. Sagittarians will find that as they give out energy to those around them, they get triple blessings in return. So you're going to be well compensated for the energy expanded. Um, in the areas of work for you, Sagittarius, this month is also a time to focus on healing. You're going to find that in the work area, 
that you're asked to be kind of a peacekeeper or a mediator here. This is a role that you'll do well because you have clear vision and you know how to move things forward beyond stalemates. So continue to share your vision, be open to those who come to you, and you're gonna be a blessing. Also highlighted for Sagittarius this month are energies connected to travel. So if you're a Sagittarius, you've been feeling called to go somewhere, go ahead and go. Remember, you're going to be bringing blessings wherever you go. Your key word this month, Sagittarius, is heal. Okay, our next sign is Capricorn, and that's December 22nd to January 19th. Um, you know, Capricorns, you're very much in the peacemaker role this month. Uh, you're going to find, like the Sagittarians, that you have a healing element to you. So when you go into areas where there is conflict, your words, your vision bring restoration, bring balance. Um, the way to succeed and work this week or this month, Capricorns, is to really focus on where there are blocks in communication and interject your vision and get people talking again. You have strong communication skills. This will also serve you in their personal relationships. So kind of reach out, invite people in. It might be interesting for Caps to invite people into their worlds that have traditionally been in conflict. So if you have two different friends and they don't speak, but they talk to you, bring the, all of you together and bring a healing energy to all involved. Um, also highlighted for Capricorns this month are issues connected to travel as well. So if you're a Capricorn, you've been feeling like you're being drawn somewhere, or somebody's invited you, go ahead and travel. Travel around this particularly is connected to travel near water. So you may be going on cruise ships or like going to lakes. Something about water here predominates in the energy for, um, for you guys this month, okay? Your key word this month, Capricorn, is peace. Okay, our next sign is Aquarius, and that's January 20th to February 18th. <clears throat> you know, Aquarians, right now, you are very much in touch with that inner voice and that light. Aquarians may find that their challenge this month is to feel grounded. The spirit world is calling Aquarians, and they feel very etheric. But Aquarians, remember, you still have to work in the here and now. So, you know, keep your feet on the ground and your head in the stars, as they say. Aquarians will find this month that everybody wants to talk to them. The voices of the spirit world are calling them and voices of success. Aquarians who are involved in media and communications work will find that this month is a stellar month for you. You're really going to get people calling you, inviting you on their shows, really a lot of energy of putting your message out there. Aquarians will find that um, they feel the energy of the stars calling to them as well. But remember, Aquarius, keep your feet on the ground and your head in the stars. Also highlighted for you guys this month are energies connected to spiritual retreats. So this would be a good time for you guys to take a retreat. Your key word this month, Aquarius, is transcendence. All right, and our last sign on the wheel, not last, not least, but not last, but not least, I should say, is Pisces, and that's February 19th to March 20th. You know, Pisces, you share a similar vibration this month to Aquarians. You're going to feel very ethereal, very transcendent. The challenges for Pisces will also be to be grounded and to be focused on the here and now. Pisces, you're going to be gifted with a lot of visions this month, a lot of dreams, a lot of visions of how things could transform and evolve. This will serve you well in the work area. Make sure to share those visions and be part of the creative process. The challenge for you is that you'll get into your head and forget to express what you're experiencing. Because Pisces, this month, the, the spiritual energy will be so compelling that, that you'll forget to connect to those around you. So make sure to ground it down and bring your vision into tangible here and now. This brings success for you. Um, also highlighted for Pisces are issues connected to music and creative dance. So if you're a Pisces and you've been feeling the, the ethers, the music of the spheres, allow yourself to dance, find expression, but also let the dancing connect you back to earth. 
your key word this month, Pisces, is grounded. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, guys, there are all 12 of our signs. I am so glad you're here. This is wonderful. It's so exciting to share this month with you in our horoscopes. And in April, we'll be back on a more normal schedule. We'll have some up there at the beginning of April for you as well. So not to worry. But anyways, welcome to all the new people. I hope that you'll like this favorite share it with your friends get the word out about the work we all do here at spirit channel and hit that subscribe be part of our community we're a community of light and i'm so honored that you've taken the time to be here anyways guys there are your horoscopes for the second half of march i send blessings to you be back here tomorrow on monday we're going to talk about some mystical wiccan stuff and we'll have all that for you then. So be here tomorrow for a Wiccan video. <laughs> Blessings to you. We'll see you. Be back here tomorrow. And hit that subscribe.